Cloaking devices inspired by science fiction use advanced materials to manipulate light or other waves, making objects appear invisible. The key lies in metamaterials, engineered materials capable of bending light around an object, much like water flowing smoothly around a rock. By guiding light waves in such a way that they seamlessly reconnect on the other side, cloaked objects become undetectable to observers. For instance, researchers have developed cloaks that hide small objects from microwaves, making them invisible to radar. While current cloaking devices are limited to specific wavelengths or small scales, this technology has promising applications in military stealth, medical imaging, and soundproofing. Imagine a construction site hidden by perfectly redirecting cars along an invisible detour. That is how cloaking devices conceal objects by guiding light away from them. The Physics of Invisibility How Cloaking Devices Work Invisibility once confined to science fiction is now an emerging reality through cloaking devices. These technologies manipulate light or other forms of electromagnetic radiation to make objects appear invisible to observers. At the heart of cloaking devices is the ability to bend, scatter, or redirect light around an object so it appears as if the object is not there. The field combines principles from optics, metamaterials, and electromagnetic theory. Invisibility relies on controlling the interaction between light and matter. If light can bypass an object without reflection or scattering, the object becomes invisible to the human eye. Cloaking devices exploit this principle by using engineered materials to manipulate the path of light. An invisibility cloak made from metamaterials can guide light waves around a small object, allowing it to remain hidden from view. Cloaking devices are like diverting traffic around a hidden tunnel so that no one sees what's inside the tunnel. The role of metamaterials in cloaking technology. Metamaterials are artificially engineered materials with properties not found in nature. They are designed to interact with electromagnetic waves in unconventional ways, such as bending light around an object. This property, known as a negative refractive index, enables metamaterials to redirect light so it seamlessly continues on its original path as if no object were present. Natural materials like glass or water bend light, predictably due to their positive refractive indices. Metamaterials, however, can achieve a negative refractive index by manipulating their microstructure. This enables precise control of how light propagates, reflecting it around the object. Researchers have developed metamaterial cloaks that render small objects invisible to specific wavelengths of microwaves demonstrating their potential applications. Metamaterials are like water flowing smoothly around a stone in a river. The stone becomes imperceptible to an observer downstream. How light bending works. Snell's law and beyond. The principle of bending light relies on Snell's law, which describes how light changes direction as it passes through materials with different refractive indices. For a cloaking device, light must bend around the object in such a way that it recombines on the other side without any distortion or shadows. This requires materials with refractive indices, carefully engineered to guide light around the hidden region. Unlike normal materials, where light refraction follows a predictable path, cloaking devices use metamaterials to alter these paths. By continuously bending light in curved trajectories, the object is hidden from detection. A light beam entering a metamaterial cloak is bent smoothly around the cloaked object, emerging as though it traveled in a straight line. Bending light around an object is like routing cars in a perfect detour around a construction site, so they reappear at the same spot without realizing they changed course. Electromagnetic Cloaking The Role of Maxwell's Equations Maxwell's equations describe how electromagnetic fields interact with materials. In cloaking devices, these equations are manipulated to determine how light waves, or other electromagnetic waves, behave when passing through metamaterials. Cloaking devices use transformations based on Maxwell's equations to steer light around an object, effectively making it invisible to certain wavelengths. Transformation optics, a method derived from Maxwell's equations, allows scientists to design materials that guide light waves like streams flowing through channels. The light avoids the object and re-emerges as though the object never existed. 
Microwave cloaking devices have been developed by solving Maxwell's equations to control electromagnetic waves, hiding small objects from microwave radar. Electromagnetic cloaking is like rerouting water around a submerged rock so that it flows as if the rock were not there. Types of cloaking devices. Cloaking devices can be categorized based on the type of radiation they manipulate and the principles they use. One, optical cloaks. Manipulate visible light to achieve invisibility. Two, thermal cloaks. Hide objects by redirecting heat flow. Three, acoustic cloaks. Bend sound waves around objects to make them invisible to sonar or acoustic detection. Four, microwave cloaks. Redirect microwaves to hide objects from radar systems. Each type of cloak uses specific metamaterials and design strategies to achieve its goal. Optical cloaks, for example, work at very small scales because visible light has a much shorter wavelength compared to microwaves. Acoustic cloaks have been used to hide objects from sound waves, demonstrating applications in underwater stealth technology. Different cloaking devices are like specialized tools, one for bending light, another for heat, and others for sound waves, depending on the task. Na a challenges in realizing full invisibility. While cloaking devices have achieved partial invisibility for small objects or specific wavelengths, significant challenges remain. One, wavelength limitations. Current cloaks work for specific wavelengths, such as microwaves, but not yet for all visible light. Two, material constraints. Creating metamaterials that operate at nanoscale precision for visible light is technologically challenging. Three, energy loss. Light often scatters or loses energy as it interacts with cloaking materials, reducing effectiveness. The diffraction limit of light and the need for ultra-thin metamaterials capable of manipulating visible light across broad wavelengths make full optical invisibility extremely difficult. Most cloaking devices currently function only at the microwave scale, making them suitable for radar stealth, but not visible light invisibility. Achieving full invisibility is like designing a perfect mirror that works across all colors of the rainbow without distortions. Applications of cloaking technology. Cloaking devices have a range of potential applications beyond invisibility. One, military stealth, hiding aircraft, submarines, and soldiers from radar, sonar, or thermal imaging. Second, medical imaging, designing cloaks to improve the precision of light-based diagnostic tools. Three, acoustic applications, shielding buildings or submarines from noise and vibrations. Four, nanotechnology. Cloaking devices could hide microscopic sensors or devices for advanced engineering. A thermal cloak could redirect heat around an object, making it invisible to infrared cameras used in surveillance systems. Cloaking technologies are like creating an invisibility spell with tools that adapt to the environment, whether light, sound, or heat. Future directions in cloaking research. Future advancements in cloaking technology involve overcoming current limitations by exploring. One, quantum cloaking, using quantum effects to hide objects on an atomic scale. Two, dynamic cloaks, developing materials that adapt to changing wavelengths or environmental conditions. Three, broad spectrum cloaks, achieving invisibility across all wavelengths of light. Researchers are also investigating new metamaterial designs inspired by nature, such as the adaptive camouflage of cephalopods, like octopuses and cuttlefish. Future cloaks may combine adaptive materials and machine learning to create active cloaking devices that react to real-time changes in light or observer position. Future cloaking technology is like creating a chameleon that instantly adapts to any background or environment, concluding the physics of invisibility. The physics of invisibility, while still in its infancy, demonstrates the power of metamaterials and transformation optics in manipulating light. While full optical invisibility remains a challenge, advancements in cloaking technologies continue to push the boundaries of what is possible in physics 
engineering, and technology. Cloaking devices capable of hiding objects from specific wavelengths are already paving the way for practical applications in defense and sensing technologies. The journey to achieving true invisibility is like solving a puzzle with pieces that require precise engineering, creative innovation, and breakthroughs in material science.